Come on, man. Yeah, have a nice night. What's that all about? Sounds broken. Yeah, it does. Thanks. Can you believe that guy? I mean, just throwing it around like it's a rag doll. I mean, who does that? What delivery company does that? I mean, did the, the guy kind of look like, did he not look like me? I mean, the whole facial thing, I, I think he looked like me. It's it kind of eerie, really eerie. In this box, I have something that I've been waiting for, something that I've been wanting for a long time. Santa came late this year. That's okay. I was patient and I waited and I waited. Hopefully gonna get some better bird's eye views of the trips that I'm on. I did buy a drone. Yes, I did. And inside of this box is a DJI Mavic Mini 2. So what I wanna do is I wanna unbox this with the Alpha knife. I'm gonna cut into this. This is beautiful. That's so beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes, the DJI Mavic Mini. I think they got rid of the Mavic and now they just call it the Mini. I wanted to open this up. I know that I am not a drone channel. Please understand also that I do not claim to be a drone enthusiast. I don't know anything about drones, quite honestly. Hell, I don't even know if I can fly this thing. The idea behind this is I really want to get a different view on the trail while I'm hiking. Some of the videos that I went back and watched from when I first started doing this, uh, they lacked a little luster. And what I would like to do is add that luster. And we're gonna lust the heck out of this with a drone. So, obviously abiding by the rules and regulations set forth by the state of Indiana and any other place that I do go, I'm gonna make sure to abide by those laws. But in the interim, I'm gonna fly the heck out of this thing, try not to crash it and get some ridiculous footage. Now, any of you that fly drones or know anything about drones, you know that the FAA requires a registration for anything over 250 grams. Now, the cool thing and one reason why I bought the Mini is because DJI slid it right underneath that 250 mark at 249 grams. So no need to register this bad boy. That's kind of the plus side to it. So with all of that being said, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to get this thing open and take a look at it. Now, there were two different ways that you could buy the DJI Mavic Mini 2. Um, you could buy just the drone and the remote, um, but I opted to spend a little bit more money just because I knew I was going to down the road and I purchased the Fly More package. The Fly More package includes quite a bit more uh, that is going to be costly down the road if you don't get it uh, in advance in the Fly More package. So uh, obviously you're gonna get this nifty case uh, the nifty case is uh, feels like a pretty durable vinyl kind of feel. Uh, it's got a nice texture to it. It's got the DJI logo there, which is pretty nice. Uh, obviously, uh, a strap to go along with it. So this is my first unboxing. So a lot of firsts today. A lot of firsts. Now, I honestly would like to, in the future, I would like to get a... Ooh, now that's... Jesus, that thing's small. <laughs> now, um, 
In the future, I would like to get a hard case for this just because I'm, I, I like things to be protected, but, whoa, look at how small that thing is. <laughs> All right, so in that we have all kinds of goodies here. Uh, looks like we've got some paperwork. Got a, got a silica pack. Uh, looks like it's got quite a bit of storage compartments in there. Uh, got a place here for the battery banks. It's got another place here for the controller. And then the Mavic goes here. So uh, there is a small spot at the top of the bag uh, that gives us a little bit of room for it looks like we've got some extra propellers also you have the little tabs uh, these are the joysticks Jesus those things are small too now these are nice because they screw into the bottom of the remote I'm excited about that you can tell I'm not good with unboxing and there's a little screwdriver so looks like here's the remote And this is, uh, it's got a nice feel to it. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's got a lot of buttons. I have no idea what to do with it. Um, cool thing about this. Oh, they give you a spare set of joysticks. That's even cooler. So the joysticks are mounted on the bottom. You take the joysticks out, you screw them in. And that <laughs> makes for easy storage. I like this. Uh, they got a nice little rubber band around them, so that's kind of cool. It also has a cinema mode, a normal mode, and a sport mode. Uh, with the uh, different options there, I'm going to stick it in cinema and leave it there. Uh, it also has a return to home button, which is pretty cool. Uh, so in the event that uh, you want to bring it back to the area that it was launched from, you just hit that uh, return to home button. Uh, so uh, this also... You can, uh, you can put your phone into the cradle at the top, even with a... Oh, look, even with my case on it, I still have my phone mounted in the cradle. And then obviously, yep, it's got a cable in there so that you can plug that in. It will also charge your phone from the remote which is pretty cool there. So now on trail, this is gonna be a little heavy. Uh, it does have some weight to it, even without the phone in it, it's got some weight to it. So that's obviously a sacrifice I'm willing to make to get some decent footage. So real excited about that. And let's see what else we have. So these are the excess propellers. It looks like it gives you uh, three extra sets. Apparently they are planning on me tearing all of them up uh, in a short amount of time. So three extra sets. And here is the extra cables it looks like. So these are dongles for looks like mini USB to USB-C and then a USB-C to a USB-C. So those will come in handy. Uh, now I've got the Android so I'll be using the USB-C to USB-C. There is also, uh, looks like the charging cable, and they also give you a charging block, which is great. Thanks, DJI, for that. So there's an extra charging block to charge with. And this is the battery pack, which I wanted to make sure and get. Obviously, I'm out on the trail. I'm not going to want to charge batteries every time I turn around. So I made sure to get the Fly More package, which comes in. Uh, which also gives you extra batteries. So there's two extra batteries in a docking station. So you can take your even third battery and plug them all in, charge them all at once. This also acts as a battery pack. So in the event that I do need to charge my phone while I'm out on the trail, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, as they say in Canada, Bob's your uncle. Uh, I can charge the, uh, charge the phone up right there. Uh, so there's the battery pack for that. And again, extra joysticks, the little screwdriver, uh, a book on how to, probably how to fly it. So we'll take a look through that. And then also, this is the man of the hour. Uh, this is the DJI Mavic Mini 2. 
It comes with a nice cover and a little band that wraps around it that keeps all of your propellers tucked in nice and neat so for storage they don't get damaged. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say I'm really impressed with how light this thing is. I cannot get over how small it is. Um, a size comparison, let's compare it to, this is a 900 milliliter pot. This is a Tokes 900 milliliter pot. Look at the size. I can almost fit this thing inside of the pot. Uh, that is this, <laughs> this thing is small. Uh, it looks like I could probably squeeze it in my back pocket. That's fantastic. So with that being said, um, this thing shoots 4K footage. Uh, at 60 frames per second. Don't quote me on that. I'll throw that up here just to make sure uh, you guys get the correct information. Um, but I believe it's 1080p. Uh, also, I'm not sure the frame rate on that. I'll have everything up on the screen uh, so you can see what the frame rates are and everything. Uh, it does have a charging port on the back, which rocks, uh, so you can charge it without uh, the uh, extra batteries if you want to just charge the battery inside of the unit itself. There's a cover for the gimbal. Uh, I believe this is a 12 megapixel camera, uh, and you can also adjust your, uh, your ISO and your white balance from this, which is really, really super cool. Uh, this will also come with, all of those settings are in the app that I will download to the phone. So let's break this thing open, and let's see what this thing looks like. That's, wow, man, they thought of everything on this. Uh, let's see here. You open up the fronts. Bada boom. Fold down the backs like this. And wow. <laughs> that is incredible. The size. This thing is super, super tiny. I am in love with this thing. I'm curious to see how it flies. I really don't know what to say. Uh, I'm going to get this thing out, I'm going to test it out and see how it goes, uh, how it does, how it performs. I'll tell you what, man, I am excited. I want to get this thing out and fly it and, and see how it does. One of the cool, actually, there's several different features, but one of the cool features that, that turned me on to this particular drone is the fact that it has the ability to do uh, five different uh, sequences, I guess. Uh, flight paths that are pre-programmed. Um, they call the rocket. There's a circle. Uh, there's also one called the helix. Uh, you hit the button, it counts backwards from three, and it'll fly a pattern around the subject that is highlighted uh, so that you're not touching the remote. You just let go of it. It flies that pattern by itself. So I'm really, really excited to check that out because the least that I have to touch the controls is probably the best. So Let's get this thing out, let's get this thing up in the air, and let's see what it does. We'll throw some test footage in right now. Okay, so here we are in uh, Southeast Way Park in Indianapolis. Nice, kind of calm day. I don't know, would you say about five, three to five mile an hour winds? Not windy at all, so screwing this up is less likely to happen. Uh, we're getting ready to launch. We went through a pre-flight pre We went through a pre Holy a pre flight check. We went through a pre-flight <laughs> check. That's hard to say. Uh, this is not an Irish coffee, I promise. Uh, so went through the pre-flight check and uh, now I believe we're getting ready to launch. We're only going to sit out here and go through the five different quick shots that they have. I just want to see what all is involved in that, how easy it is to fly, and then also I want to see uh, if I can fly it. This is Chad. He was in the uh, he was in the Smoky Mountains video and I'll link that in the card up here. So if you guys want to go back and watch that video, uh, Mr. Chad Huffer and 
uh, Mr. Brightside was with us on that trail. Here we go. Uh, what have we learned? We learned that I'm not very good with the remote. I shouldn't even hold on to it. I should probably hire somebody designated to do this for me. Uh, I did fly it a little bit. Uh, handled business and didn't crash, so I'm excited about that. We did figure out how to do the quick shots, so we are going to launch it back up again and, uh, and do a couple of these quick shots. We do have a perimeter of trees. We're going to do a couple of them. We don't know if the other ones are going to hit the trees or not. So I went ahead and put a fresh battery in. We're gonna turn it back on, we're gonna launch it. Uh, the quick shots are pretty much one of the reasons why I bought it. If I wanted to step up to the Mavic Air 2, I could have gotten uh, those perimeter sensors. It would have been over 240 grams. I would have had to register it with the FAA. And then on top of that, it's heavier to carry on trail. And it was $900 for the Fly More package. So uh, all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and power this up and toss it up in the air, get a couple of those done and get out of here. So hang tight. Push once, hold. <gasps> here it is. I'm not gonna move. It's gonna launch right here in front of my face. Because I have that much faith in my friend. It's gonna trim my beard a little. I'm scared. Take off. Ooh. That was a little unnerving. <laughs> Okay, so that is pretty much wrapped up for today. Had some fun with it through its sport mode. It's a quick little sucker. Uh, I think it's something that's not gonna be a problem for me to use on trail. Um, I'm gonna learn how to do those, uh, those quick shots a lot better, but we're gonna wrap it up. We had a little bit of a physical altercation with the blade. <laughs> Chad cut his hand. <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up. We'll see you guys later. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like down in the bottom. If, uh, if you feel like this is giving you any kind of content, it's just been goofy and fun. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Hang tight. Yeah, turn it on. Hang, hang tight. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, or you're thinking about it, or you, maybe you don't want to subscribe, do it anyways, because it would help me out tremendously. Hang tight. It's also propellers. Propellers. You call them props. Propellers. I guess it'd be the same thing, but props. Props. Propellers. Blades. I think of props for theater, like you have a fake lamp. Like the video if you found this information useful, and uh, you can find me on Facebook at JR Hikes and Instagram at JR Hikes.